And it's shipwreck exception again. There's a whole crap load of them. There's a whole shipload of ships. So, hehehe. <laughs> It is our, your friendly neighborhood Slip Gator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing some more Stranded Deep Peeps. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great day. I just woke up and I'm going to go swimming. Oh, man. I didn't, I don't think I built my house in a deep enough pool. I guess we just built it in a wading pool. But anyway, thanks for coming to hang out with me, guys. Thanks so much for showing your support on all the stuff and things. Your continuous support is very important to me. Thank you guys very, very much. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. So in the last episode, we built a house thing. And we have our little bed now. And we have our little table and our little kniffy right here for cleaning our toenails. And so it's good. Like, stuff and things are good. Let's check out the sitch. What's the sitch? The water sitch is bad. So, and you guys actually left some great comments. Actually, well, not like you don't always. I'm saying that you guys left some great comments and some not so great comments on the last video. And I want to make sure I address them. So there's a couple different things. Well, first and foremost... One thing that you guys were telling me about that was really and really changes the face of Stranded Deep for a, Whoa. Whoa. Camera flash. Paparazzi? You see that? Camera flash? I, I don't know if you can see it. But, um, yeah, it changes the face of Stranded Deep is that um, you only need one water droplet from the bucket. So this bucket holds five drops of water, right? You can see it right here. It's making the water. Stuff and things are happening. Let's pick up these sticks. We'll feed the fire. Like so. And this has... Actually, I can't... See, this is the problem with this whole setup. I can't see if there's any more water inside of there. We're going to take this out right now. We're just going to drink from it. Because we need to get some southern things going on here. And we're good. So we will squirt this back inside of here. We will take this out of here and we'll go fill it up. But um, it only takes one droplet from the bucket in order to fill four drops of the crops. Which makes perfect sense, doesn't it? This looks like it's five little droplets. This looks like it's five little droplets. But when this gets down to one little droplet, supposedly, and we'll probably see if we can test this. I don't know how long it'll take for it to get down to one droplet. But um, one droplet of the bucket fills four droplets of the crops. That does change things big time. It makes it way, way easier to water your crops. You just got to really pay attention. Um, the crop growth rate, as you can see, not so great. But, hey, what can you do, you know? We're just going to live our life on the island and deal with it the way, the best way that we know how. By making a huge mess of palm fronds everywhere. But anywho, all right, so we're back here today. There's some stuff and things that we want to continue to do, of course. We've got to get a better house going, eventually. I'm not sure what we're going to, we're not sure we're going to do that today. We need to find parts for the, for the mo boat motor. I want boat motor parts really, really bad. So if we, oh, what was the other thing I wanted to address? Oh, yeah. In the bucket video, a bunch of people were saying that I spawned in the bucket. Um, so I'm not sure if you know a lot about video games. I'm not a video gameologist, but there is one thing I do understand, and that is Google. So, um, yeah, I didn't even know if you could spawn stuff in, but I Googled it. And there is there are some console commands for this game. Um, and spawning items in is not something that is one of them. So you can't spawn any items in. Um, that I know of. At least the wiki doesn't say that you can. I, I don't know. I might be wrong. Like I said, I'm not a video gameologist. I do play video games for a living. Um, and normally I just go to the wiki if I want to know some information about stuff and things. And uh, that's what I did in this case. And uh, there isn't a command that does that. There is a command that allow you to fly, I guess. Um, and so... I think, I can't remember. I think I used it last season to take some screenshots. So there is a thing. I think it's dev, like devtools.god is the fly command. Is this to bring up the menu? There it is. Oh, actually, let's try it out right now. Devtools.god. We'll try it right now together to see if it's even a thing. So we just did it. Then we can fly. Ooh! Ooh, we're flying. Ooh! So you can't fly. Ooh! Okay. And I hear, if I remember correctly, you have to be really careful because... You can still, like, die. You can still, like, die from fall damage and stuff. So you got to go really far towards towards the ground here and then type it in again. Dev tools. Wait, no. Now we got to go like this. Dev tools. Interface is very intuitive. Dot God. And then bam. 
So now we're back on our feet and everything is regular. But there's not a way to spawn stuff in that I know of. That would be amazing and cool. We would spawn. We could. I would. If you guys would be on the same on our same team, our secret team, we'd spawn in like a thousand buckets, and we would be the richest people in all stranded deep. So, oh, uh, looks like it's gonna be night pretty soon. All right. So, what I'm thinking about doing today is, as I was about to say before, I was so rudely interrupted with the addressing addressing the comments about the hacking scandal. Um, over here, we want to take a look at the boat motor. We still need the engine canister, which I'm not sure what that is. I think it's the fuel can. The fuel tank for the boat is one of the things that we're missing because they've changed the name of stuff and things. It was as we know. So now we have like engine, engine pump, engine canister, propeller, and duct tape. But, um, you know, some of these things are carburetors or whatever. So the names are a little bit different. Um, uh, one of the other things that we're going to need here real quick, we are going to need another axe. Let's take a look at the crude axe stuff and things. We need two stone tools. Cancel. Uh, go back up. Stone tool. Craft. Bam. No, not lashing. No. Cancel. Incorrect. Craft. Bam. Now we can go uh, down to axe. Craft. Bam. Now that Ace did can't be stopped, we have an axe. So we just spent the beginning of the episode talking about some stuff and things. Uh, now we have full food and full water, but we're going to have to go to sleep here in a minute. So that's what we're going to do. We'll go to sleep, wake up, and we'll kind of see the situation with the crops. But I think what we're going to do, the reason I was talking about the engine is I think we're going to go ahead over to our raft. It's over there. I think we're going to do some more exploring. We're going to do a little bit more exploring and see if we can't find any stuff and things in and about the area. You know what? That means we'll probably wait. One of these axes has like no durability, right? I think we're going to take a machete with us. All right, we'll take our durability crapo axe. And I think that's probably all we're going to take. That's all we really need. Oh, you know what else we need? We need our compass. Where are you, compass? We'll grab this thing, too. All right, let me go ahead and save the game. I'll go ahead and go to sleep, and I'll wait for it. Because it's, it's, when I sleep, it's only going to be like... I can't remember how long you're going to sleep for. It's 1,800 right now. It'll only be like, whatever, 3 o'clock in the morning. So I'll sleep, wake up, and uh, wait for day, and then we'll go on a little adventure, peeps. Good morning! We're back, and here we are. Stuff and things are just as we left it last night. Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, full food and full water. I went ahead and got that all ready for us. So now, let's go ahead and test our theory. I've got our bucket over here. I drank some this morning because I needed to, to, you know what I mean, get a little water in us. But we got, we're down by three over here. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, it does work! I think. Well, wait, 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 wait. Now we got to put our bucket back on because the bucket had two droplets in it. Is that correct? And now it has one droplets in it. So now we can just go ahead and come back over here. We should be able to water the second plant. And three droplets. It does work. It works. It works. But at the same time, look at this, guys. The fruit. We still haven't got any fruit on these trees. Like it has to make like a fruit a day. Right? <laughs> like, at least one fruit per day. I mean, we're, we would need, I don't know, in order to make it so that we could actually survive on just, like, fruit, we would need a lot of fruit and a lot of water. A ton of stuff and things. So, um, we got this going over here. Let's go ahead and just fill this bucket up all the way. Make sure it's completely full. There we go. We'll stick it back on top of here. Let's go ahead and grab just a couple pieces of wood, too, and squirt them in there before we leave on our amazing adventure. We'll grab some driftwood and we'll squirt it in here and we should be good to go. So, all right, there we go. Like so, like so. We'll drop that guy on the ground. All right, we've got a machete. We've got our compass. Let's go ahead and head over to our raft. Get our raft ready to go. Now, we've gone to a couple of islands already. We went that way. We went this way. Let's get our compass out here. So we've gone, I think, in a that early type direction east. We've gone uh, in a this early type direction north. We came from that island. That's the island I do believe that we landed on. So we've got to take a look up here. Let's get up to the crest of the mountain and see. All right, there's the big island right there. That is basically west. So we've got to go ahead and grab our raft and drag it around a little bit. Well, maybe we could pilot it. Let's see how this is going to work out. We might be able to pilot through the strait here. We should name the strait. The strait of... The strait of the cur the curve of... The strait of a banana... I, the Strait of Magellan. I, I don't know. You can put your comments in the down there. See what kind of we should name it. What the strait should be. All right. Jump up and utilize stuff and things. We're going to go in a this early type direction. Oh, oh, I'm ho uh, Is that thing going to stop us? Okay, no. All right. We're in the Strait of Stuff and Things. The Strait of Stuff and Things, maybe. We'll see. 
So we can barely see the island now. There it is. If we head east on our way back, we that will be the direction that we'll have to go. Oh, uh, I've beached the craft. The craft has been beached. Come here, craft. Ugh, we have to get it back into the water. All right. All right. We've launched. I wish we had some champagne. I would christen this. We need a name for our boat. The SS. Look at all those fish. Holy crap. Do you see that right there? There's like a... That's weird. That's a weird visual glitch, I think. The SS Lip Gator? Is that a good name? You guys, again, I don't know what we should name the straight, and I don't know what you should name the boat. You got to let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm going to head over here to the island, and uh, when I get there, I will be our bees, peeps. And we're about to make land. Land ho! And we're back! There's land ho! So, all right, let's check this place out. It looks like a pretty big island. Let's go ahead and beach the craft. Let me off. All right, are you going to stay? Let's pull it up on the beach a little bit here. So I've got my handy machete out. I'm going to start to get... We'll leave that right there. We're going to start to make sure we gather up as many materials as we can. Keep your eyes peeled for buckets, peeps. That's what we're... Oh, oh, there's a shipwreck. Oh, there's a tarp. All right, tarps are valuable. Shipwrecks are valuable, of course. Because inside the shipwreck, we might find the engine pump or whatever. Oh, wait. This isn't... Man, it's shipwreckception again. There's a whole crap load of them. There's a whole shipload of ships. So, <laughs> let's go ahead over here. It looks like we got a hard case. Engine thing? Ooh, air tank. Okay, that'll be great for exploring the shipload of ships. Let's go ahead over here. It looks like we got some more hot stick action. Ooh, some planks. Plank scraps I actually haven't found a lot of. And there's driftwood logs. Oh, there's a bunch of driftwood logs over here. There's tons and tons of driftwood. My gosh, this island. There is stuff aplenty here. We've got tons of stuff and things. How big, how full is our inventory? All right. Let's go ahead and explore this first shipwreck real quick. I don't think we would get... Oh, there's barrels. Oh, I don't want to have to do that again. I don't want to carry barrels back. It's the worst. Carrying barrels back is the worst. All right. Let's get up here. Let's jump up here. Let's check this hard case. An axe. An amazing axe. All right. Well, that's good because we ran out of axe that we had before. We, we are out of axe completely. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy. Duck down here. Another engine we don't really need. What's this? All right, more morphine. We're doing good. More morphine's good. Another friggin' carburetor. We have so many carburetors. All right, over here are some barrels. Uh, what is that, an E? Boo doo doo doo. G, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm. Um, -da 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 -da. <laughs> all right, so uh, that I think is all in the ship, right? Let me see. We can't get in the bottom, can we? There's nothing in there. Any oh, do you hear that? I thought I heard a shark head. Oh, there might be a little toolbox right here. All right. Let's see if we can check this guy right here. Is there a toolbox? No toolbox. Worst shipwreck of all time. All right. We want to get out of the water. Uh, inventory is kind of full. Let's go ahead and I'm going to run back to... Oh, there's shark. There's shark. Oh. I heard you. I heard you. Oh, no. It's terrible. It's disaster sharks. No, we're trying to explore stuff and things, not get shark attacked. All right. I'm going to head over here. I'm going to do a little bit more exploring on the island, fill my inventory up, uh, probably grab some cocoa nuts as well. So we have some food while we're here, uh, drop some stuff off. And then when I'm ready to explore the rest of those shipwrecks, I will be our bees, peeps. And we're back. The sun is about to rise on the first second day of our glorious exploration to stuff and things island look at it everybody look at all the stuff and things look at all this driftwood what do they for the 17 things of driftwood there's some planks more wood corrugated scraps cocoa nuts rocks air tanks morphine sort of these things i built a shelter it's amazing disaster of amazingness stuff and things are everywhere we have so much stuff to bring back. I'm going to have to make 1,700,000 trips back. But it doesn't matter. It's amazing. All right. So we're back. Day two. Exploring stuff and things. Statisticals. Here you go, guys. One food and one water short. It's fine. Everything's good. We're going to take the air canister with us. Try not to use it very much. We don't want to use the... In fact, you know what? We're not taking the air canister with us. We're going to save this because there are wrecks that are like in the ocean. And that's what you need it for. I... I <laughs> 
You know what? I don't understand why we can't modify that to use it as a fuel canister for the for the friggin' for the friggin' the engine that we're trying to build, but we're just not gonna. So anywho, well, I've got just about everything down here um, on the island. I've got uh, basically all the stuff and things. There, oh, that's a tree that I downed in order to build a shelter. Pretty much everything. There's some rocks and sticks around and stuff like that, but nothing major. So we still got these barrels we've got to contend with. We're going to head over here, and we've got a couple shipwrecks we've got to go take a look at. So I'm thinking... You know what? This is not a good idea. I've got a better plan. We know there's sharks in the water. And so far, my record against sharks is not very good. Um, all of the times I've encountered sharks, I have ran from them. There's a rock. I've ran from the sharks. So, and I've never killed a shark yet this season. We've killed them in previous seasons. But as I've told, said many times in this season, this game is harder now. We have to be really careful. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the SS Lip Gator or whatever you guys decide to name it. And we're going to take it out. This is going to be the best way to do this. We have a reverse, which however you can do that in a boat, I do not know. This boat is pretty unbelievably powerful for having just a sail. I can't really turn. Oh, I can turn when I'm backing up. All right, sweet. So you can back. This is like having a regular engine. I don't know how the engine is going to be any better than this. So we'll have to see once we get the fuel tank one day, finally, at some point when we get the freaking fuel tank. What we're going to do is we're going to take our boat out here. This is going to be a lot easier. If we got to escape quickly, we can come up to the SS Lip Gator and we can just escape. This looks like, oh, I think I just heard a shark noise. It was like, oh, this is why we might need the air. We, oh, no, there's a shark. I can't go down there. There's a shark. If we come over here, will he follow us over to the other shipwreck? This is a good question. This is good shark. Look at him. He's just hanging out with us. We're not buddy shark. We're not at part of your school. You need to go on your little shark way, and I'll go on my little human people way, and that's just how it's going to be, shark. You go your way, I go my way. We don't hang out together. People and sharks. Oh, God. All right. I think we can probably just get this right here. Okay, we're on. We're on. You can't get me, shark. Duct tape. I don't want any more duct tape. Shark. You need to learn your place. More barrels. There are so many freaking barrels here. This is ridiculous. Okay, we're going to go down in. Open the door. Here we go. Fuel can. Jerry can. Not what we wanted. Another engine. Another compass. Another machete. Is there a little other thing here? No, that's it. All right, we're going up. Get on. No, 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 no. What the crap just happened? Oh, I got so scared. Did you see that? There was definitely some hot glitch action going on. So I'm pretty sure that's all the stuff and things from this shipwreck. I feel like we're going to have to contend with the shark. I feel like there's nothing we can do except for fight the shark. I don't know. I don't. It's a really bad idea. Let's do it. <laughs> all right. We're going in right here. Come here, shark. You want some hot action? I'm here. I'm here to give it to you. Okay, we gotta breathe. We're gonna stay around the shipwreck. Use the shipwreck as a as a shield. Where'd you go, dumb shark? Yeah, I scared you off. That's what I thought. You don't want any of this hot slip gator action, do you? You can't handle the truth. Let's go ahead, whatever that means. Let's go back onto our boat. Oh, is he back? I hear his little shark noise. All right, I think he's gone. Let's head over to the other shipwreck. We have barrels here we've got to get. Are we caught? Okay, no, back up. Beep, 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 beep. All right, here we go. So we're going to head over to the other shipwreck, back over there. Hopefully, the shark will not follow us. One day. Oh, this is so difficult. I'm, I'm not a boatologist, you guys. That's just not my thing. All right. No, this shark is not leaving us alone. Even a little bit. If we come over here now. Did we bring our air can? All right, let's get off here. Okay, we didn't bring our air can. The boat's like right here, though. Oh, there's tires. All right, is there a shark? Come here, shark! I'm not afraid of you, stupid, dumb shark. I mean, I'm terrified of you, but I'm just not afraid of you. You know what I'm saying? You know, you understand fear? Are you, do, you, do you even get it? Probably not, because you're dumb. Because you're a dumb shark, and I'm an amazing, smart human. 
All right, let's see. We're going down in the belly of the beast. The shark can't follow us down inside of here. All right. Oh, you know what? This is big, big time air canister territory. Open. Bucket. A bucket. Pick up the bucket. Flare gun. Pick up the flare gun. Okay, we gotta go get air. We gotta go get air. Going up. Going up for air. I know, I know. I'm drowning. I know. Okay, we're here. Oh, shark's here. Come here, stupid. I'm gonna take you down. I'm gonna take you down. Okay, air. Oh, he hit me. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, no. What the crap? Get on the thing. Oh, what is happening? Oh. No, that's not what we want. Okay, we're not bleeding. He didn't, like, get us, get us. Okay, we're going in. Okay, here we go. I'm so scared right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Can you guys hear that outside? It was, uh... It's thunder. Another friggin' carburetor. I can't believe we can't find a friggin' fuel tank. Okay, let's go up. Don't eat me, shark. Don't eat me, shark. Jump. Jump up, 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 up. Okay. So there's thunder outside in real life. Welcome to Florida. It thunders like every single day, and it's super loud. I don't know if you can hear it in the video or not. It's scaring me, though. I'm a little bit scared. Okay, the shark is continuing to circle. I think we need to go get our air canister. We we do. We need to use the air canister on this, guys. I'm going to head back over to base if I can turn the boat one day. Uh, head back over to our little temporary base. I'm going to grab our air canister, and then I'll be our beast peeps. And we're back. Here we go. On our boat venture. We're going to pop over here. All right. Here we go. We're going in. We're going in. Heading down into the belly of the beast. We have a bunch of stuff to check. I offloaded everything that we had, so we should be good to go. This doesn't open. That is all set. Oh my gosh, can you guys hear that? Real life. Another propeller. I can't... Air. I can't believe... Oh, there's just tires down here? That's it? I guess we could try to get them out. I don't think we could actually get these out of here. Because when, when we take them out... Hold on. <laughs> okay, quick. So now we got to drag it out like this. Is it even going to come? Come here, tire. There's no way we can get them out of here. And we're back. All right, guys. I am sufficiently confident we have found all the stuff and things that we need from the island here. We've discovered a bunch of stuff and... We've left some barrels and some tires. So I think what we're going to do... I'm trying to make a left-hand turn here one day. I keep getting drug across the bottom. Can we make a left-hand turn so we can turn back around and go back to where we come from? Let's do it. You and me, SS Loop Gator, we can conquer turning. We did it together. All right. Ooh, hello, Rock. So um, I'm confident we got all the stuff and things. There's just tires that we left inside of there. There's some barrels around around here. Uh, around around. There's some barrels right there, and there's some more barrels over here. We still didn't find a fuel tank. I can't believe we didn't find a fuel tank. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do now, uh, I think that what we're going to do, I'll probably end up cutting these barrels out because they're going to be easy to get. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start bringing all this stuff back over to the base. I've got to get some water and I got to get some food so I can get my health point, my one health point back. You get that back by having full uh, water and food. Um, but yeah, so we're going to load up on stuff and things, start ferrying everything back over to the base and uh, I will BRBs. And we're back, bringing our final load of stuff and things over. Oh my God, if I see another barrel, it will be too soon. Bringing these things back is such a pain in the butt. But, well, I don't have any here. I already grabbed some. This is all the stuff and things that we have left to bring over. So let's go ahead and head over. I'm really hurting. I had to eat a lot of coconuts along the way down on the other side on the other island um, in order to stay hydrated. But, oh no, our plants are all dead. Oh no. And they made all sorts of dead fruit. Oh, you know what? We're going to have to do the special trick. We're going to have to do the special trick. Look at how much stupid fruit. Look at how much dumb fruit this thing made. Stupid tree didn't make any damn fruit while it had water in it. But now it won't make any fruit. Now it made a million spoiled fruits. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear the thunder that's going on outside. There's been, like, it is like a learning experience living in Florida. It is a very big learning experience. 
Um, the storms here are amazing and frequent and powerful. When the lightning starts rolling through here, guys, it is unbelievable how freaking loud it is and how close the strikes are. It's kind of like something like everybody here thinks it's normal, and I'm like, oh my god, are we going to die in a terrible disaster? Because it's really scary. So, all right, we're dropping off the rest of our stuff and things. The big find, the big, big find here, guys, bucket extra bucket i mean what were we gonna do with this bucket i don't know we really have to think it through because there's a lot of stuff and things that we could do with the bucket but well, i'm not exactly sure but um all right so we found another bucket huge big big addition to our arsenal look at all the driftwood we've got all the stuff and things all this corrugated now all these tarps all these planks i mean it's really a lot of stuff so all right first things first we got to talk about survival we need water like right now let's go ahead and grab this drink drink Drink. Drink. We did it! We're at full waters. All right, let's go ahead and grab this guy. We got to go ahead and fill it up. Get ready. This is the life, man. This is the life of being stranded on a desert island place. You just have to deal with it as best you can. We'll go ahead and bring this over. I don't think this is going to work. I'll try it. I'm, we tried it the other episode, and it didn't work. You can't, like, bring them back to life. No, this didn't work. So we won't be able to bring it back to life. Let's go ahead and grab a couple of sticks. I think driftwood's going to be our stick for sticks for burning for right now. We've got a ton of it. We'll go over here. We'll get our water ready to go. Stick that up there like so. Go ahead and get our sticks. Fill this bad boy up. Light it on fire. Nail the nice to can't be stopped. We'll have more water here in a minute. We need a little bit of food in order to get our haunch all the way up so we can gain back our one little piece of HPs that we lost from our shark battle like so all right now if we just sit tight it should go ahead and regenerate but I got to tell you what guys that's all the adventure I can handle for today we definitely made some advancements I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the little cheaty trick since you can't you know bring these guys back I guess you can just replant someone was saying actually let's try this oh you can just replant does that even work what happens to the dead plant does it sit there forever We'll have to find out. That's what we're going to test. So, because what I was doing was, remember, I saved the game and then load it up and really quickly give it water. Oh, there. It's growing. It's just growing a new one. All right. Cool. We're learning more about farming stuff and things. So, we'll let those grow. I'll go ahead and save it. But I'm going to head for the hills. I'm going to go into the safe room in my house so I don't get struck by lightning. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me today. Thanks so much for showing your support. Make sure if you like the video, don't forget, smash that thumbs up button, peeps. Feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit. And may the stuff and things be with you.